Oh, beautiful. How do I get rid of the... Very good. <laughs> you know, I've got some big block that came to my screen. I can, I can only see you all if you're over this way. I don't know what really? this is. Some big block. <laughs> Thank you, David. That was beautiful. Sherazade, is that what that was? No, no, that was Valero. Oh, Valero. Sherazade goes like this. You know, we have no symphony this year, so you're going to have to be the substitute. <laughs> yeah, we have a symphony. When you go we to the symphony, symphony on every Tuesday year. night. Excuse me. Tuesday night we have a symphony. You mean your benefits? Yeah. yeah. No, I mean yeah. I meant we usually go to the Kennedy Center, and that's all gone now. Yeah, it's not going to. The Kennedy Center is not going to happen for a while. That's sure. the last time we saw you when you had that benefit at. Yeah, right. The Kennedy Center. Oh. Was so like, anyhow, um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, it's great to be one of the girls. Yeah. <laughs> You're the entertainer. I think I've hung around in too many men's <laughs> locker rooms, you know, uh, all my really? life. So it's nice to be with the ladies in the church. Very nice. Right. Why not? <laughs> let's see. Be uh, the lady. One of the pieces we're going to play is this. the pup what's the pup's name Haley Haley, Haley. what is that dog I can't tell she's a chihuahua and a basinji oh look there she is yeah yeah and so she you just said you were gonna you said you were yeah. gonna talk politics why doesn't anybody just call that psychopath what he really is I thought people did all the time no I mean he is now a mass murderer for real Oh, you know, I, I went to I went to law school. I think I know what the definition of murder is. He's intentionally put people in uh, peril. He has intentionally fanned a an epidemic, a pandemic, and turned it into a forest fire. He's done all that knowingly because he only cares about his reelection. That's it. Mm -hmm. Is anybody going to call him what he is? A mass murderer. That's what he is. Well, but what about all the Republicans that won't back him? That keep backing him up. Well, you know, it's amazing, but you're right. But guess what? There's a lot of Republicans, especially that Lincoln project, where um, I think a lot of them realize they're going to lose on his coattails because he's going to lose in a landslide in November. That's why he doesn't want people to vote, because he's losing. Yeah. He's losing amongst, you're the most important vote of all. The, the five of you are the single most important vote. And I'm not pulling the race card here. It just so happens that white women represent the most voting power in America. And the last election, 
Um, I think Hillary Clinton gained, I just saw the new figure, she gained 7% of the white women's vote. The white women's vote now is 39% for Biden versus like a tiny percent, tiny percent. Um, he's leading by 39% over uh, Trump. That's what it is. He has a 39 point lead in the biggest voting block in the country. And that's what his problem is right there. I wish I felt confident that. A suburban, a suburban. Jody, Jody, how is Miss Foggy Bottom? I can't <laughs> see everybody, but my 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 uh, computer crashed, so I'm using. Oh, my phone. You. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I can see I, I can you. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> I, play, I should play something a little classical for you guys. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, that's a good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> so, you guys, do I have a gallery button on the phone? Do you know? You know what? Where you can see everybody? Yeah. On Zoom, you have to push gallery. No, yeah. I didn't. Oh, okay. But so, so I can only see who's, I can only see the view if you're talking. Mm -hmm. But I can't oh. see everybody else. Really? Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. there's, so there must be some option. It, yeah. may be that, it may be that I'm not on my computer. I just, I wasn't sure. What are you on? Yeah. I'm on You know, Kat, Kath, you should come back on? tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. to Wildwood Shopping Center. What? We switched over to Wildwood. You should come to Wildwood tomorrow morning. What's there? Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, about seven or eight crazy people that are talking. Actually, it's all about Trump bashing and baseball. All right. Good combination. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch, of, a bunch of senior guys talking about Trump and whatever. Yeah. Send me exactly. the video. <laughs> and David does his share. Nice. So calming. So relaxing. That was nice. Very nice. This is um, this is also from Scheherazade. Redford from my, where I'm sitting. I do? Really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, no, I have really been. I you don't really play like him. You look like him. I'm is. actually about, I'm seven inches taller, too. So. Oh, well, I can't see how tall you are from there. So he's a short mm -hmm. guy. Well, I know, but that's not why. <laughs> Nice. What about what you're going to be playing for your concert? What do you? Um, we're going to, you know, we're going to do the theme from Schindler's List. We're going to, oh, we're going to do this one, Fiddler on the Roof. What is it? Oh, it's good. Oh. Oh. Thank you. 
Nice. <laughs> that was nice. So now that I'm playing for dinner, what are you serving? Yeah, <laughs> really. Just our company. <laughs> <laughs> what a it's deal, great. huh? <laughs> Man, it's great to see everybody. It's been so many years. Wow. I know. I know. I know. Amazing. So anyhow, if, let's see. Now, Joni, you're in the Washington area. Yeah. You got to come out Tuesday I night. I live in Adams Morgan. Yeah, you got to come but out. But I'm living in Annapolis Tuesday. right now. What's what's Tuesday night? Oh, well, and Kathy needs to tell you all about it. We're doing a movie concert called In Memory of Six Million. We're going to have the orchestra playing in front of the screen, playing the movie themes. And we're going to play the themes, actually the complete pieces of four victims of the Holocaust. Mm. And uh, we've actually arranged it for- That sounds audience. uplifting. Yeah, it's, it, we're gonna play for, it's totally socially distanced. Everybody's at least 10 feet apart, including the musicians. And um, uh, every car parks every four parking spaces before they go onto the lawn area. They bring your own, have to bring your own lawn chair. You can bring any food you like, but you have to make sure you bring everything, take everything back with you. And it's really going to be an amazing concert. I mean, a really fun concert. It's the first of three. We're doing three of them. The 11th, the 18th, and the uh, 25th. And the site is, you can put it up on the screen, can't you? In memory of 6 million dot info. And pass it on to your friends. I got an email about it. I thought it was out someplace near Rockville Pike. Yeah, actually it is. It's... Um, it's right in Rockville. It's a Jewish community center. It's right, right at, the entr at the entrance. Oh, the I know that place. City. I know that. Is that yeah. Seven Locks? No. No, it's actually off of Montrose Road. Montrose, yeah, Montrose Road. Road. That's right. And it's a block away from Rockville Park. Right, Montrose Road. I remember. I know where that is. Remember when There's we did Preston site. Show? Didn't you come to that, Joyce? Yeah. That was that theater. Hmm. I'm alert. Oh, yeah, I have that too. Sounds beautiful. What is that? Yeah. That's the national anthem. What is that? That's a tikva, <laughs> the national anthem for Israel. Oh, okay. So anyhow, that's up on the screen. So check it out. And uh, you know, it's really easy. Just go to in memory of six six million of six million and the the number six of million in memory of six million dot info info. And it's really nice. There's even video on our, um, oh, there it is. Hmm. I think I got this email. Kathy, didn't you send this email? Hmm. Somebody did. Yeah. Wait, I gotta I get my charger. Just a second. I added it, I added it in. And then yeah. there's like, if you press that button right there, I didn't ever see that interview, Kathy, until like four days ago. Yeah. I was done, I had never looked at it, no. Yeah, well, they can watch it. We can mm -hmm. watch it later. Yeah. Let's see. I think you see if you recognize this theme. Chicago. <laughs> 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 uh, Somewhere, my love, from a uh, Doctor Zivago. From a uh, Doctor Zivago. Wow. Beautiful. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And this is great. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like watching these late night shows like Steve Colbert. You ever watched Steve what? Colbert? And that's 
the way he has everybody, just the way we oh, know. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so anyhow, hopefully this thing will be over soon and we can go back to normal again. And uh, yeah. can you imagine we've been banned by Canada, Mexico, and <laughs> Europe. And Europe, Mexico has banned us. <laughs> Lucky we have that wall now. Lucky they have the wall. <laughs> You know what Trump said to the people yeah, right. in Colorado? He said, we're going to build the wall on your southern border. You know what the Coloradans said to him? What? We don't border Mexico. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the map. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys and let you ladies go on and have a mm -hmm. great time. And thanks for allowing Thank me you. to be Thank your you. official nice grinder, monkey oboe player. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love doing it, and I love doing it. Bye, Larry. Bye, David. Bye. Okay. We'll do it again. I'll okay, see you bye bye. Bye bye. Can you guys bye. invite me in? Because I got lost again from here. <laughs> Is there a way to invite me in? Um, how do you do that? I don't know. Whoever's running it. Uh, do you uh, have the uh, email? I mean, did, did you? Get the email? Email? No, I, no. I'm I'm just saying I disappeared from. I can see you and hear you, but I can't. But my picture isn't in there. No, you're gone now. You were there. But somebody can push me back in. How? Huh? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. It should be the leader. It, I'm the leader. I'm, I'm <laughs> working on it. Anyway, I'm don't make a big it. deal out of it. I just thought maybe it was easy. Well, we can see the name. <laughs> yeah, right. The name. Okay. Well. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I, I, what happened to your picture? You were there. I, I don't know. Joan, Joan, what you should do is go out, cut off, cut out, and come back in. And come back in. Yeah, yeah go out and come back in, and I will admit you. Go out. That's what we always do in classes. If they can't things uh, get things straight away, you go out and come back in, and then it's better. David is a colorful character. Nice, nice guy. Don't remember much about him. <laughs> the concert sounds so lovely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. You guys should going. go. I'm too far away. I'll, I'll be going. Just go, are you going? Kathy? Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going the 11th and 18th. And the, 8th, uh, the um, 25th, I can't go. Hi, Joan. I see you are coming. You're trying. He's <laughs> there. He's trying to slip in. I see oh, you dear. coming. Still a, the iPhone is connecting. So. I don't know. Anyway, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> we, we did lose your face. Go on, but guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> All we do is hear you and see your name. Yeah. <laughs> because only the host can let me in or share me. I did let you in. I did. I know, but I all right. Let's just go. Let's just. It talk. said Joan Cushing's phone network bandwidth is low. That's what my screen says. Oh well, I just plugged my charger in. That's weird. Okay. Well, anyway, just go on. All right. All right. So <laughs> Hello, everybody. Have Let's let let's let Ellen and uh, my my new friend for our our ladies group, Ellen. Would you introduce yourself and tell us where you live and what you're doing and where you work in your career? Go ahead. Oh, goodness, that's too long. No, <laughs> just two minutes is <laughs> <That's> good. <not. laughs> I've been a nurse. I've I've worked in hospitals all over the U.S. I moved out in California way back in 1980 and um, worked at the same hospital for that whole time, but did about eight different jobs. And the last 20 years, I was what they call a risk manager. Yeah. So everything that was, that was happening, that was bad, I got it all. Oh, and okay. then I retired. I moved out to Redlands out here by Loma Linda and Riverside. And uh, last year I worked for the joint um or the grand grand i can't even say it grand jury um what but they do it different out here they investigate um problems yeah. as opposed to working with trials so yeah. and then the last uh what six eight months 
I've been basically at home. <laughs> Are you retired or you're just because yes. of the, yeah. Yeah. She, well, good she for worked you. at Glendale Adventist Hospital for most of her career. And just listen to this amazing coincidence. You won't believe it. So my daughter, Lori, lived in Minneapolis and uh, her husband is an orthopedic surgeon. And Lori couldn't stand the cold weather there. They were there five years and she gave it her all for five years. But she just said, I cannot anymore. I've done it. So they wanted to move to California. And Ryan was applying for jobs up and down California everywhere. Guess what? <laughs> he was found him a job. And now Adventist, where Ellen worked for 30 years. <laughs> oh. So, and, yeah. and besides that, Laurie and Ryan lived in La Quinata Flint Ridge, where Ellen lived for 30 years. <laughs> really? Wow. Oh my God. Oh. And, and her daughter has said many times that once she saw the pictures of our house, when we sold it, that if they would have been there, they would have bought that house because she has oh. some of the same tastes that we did. Yep. And so I think they live about a mile from where we were. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah, they're looking oh, at there you are. Well. I know. <laughs> they still hmm. think about your house and um, one floor pool. I mean, your house was perfect for them, but it sold. And I told Laurie, she should go put a note on the door just in case they want to sell it. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. I know. Oh, dear. <laughs> Too funny. Thank you, Ellen. That was a good story. Good short story. It was. <laughs> I stay in touch with her when I go to California. I see her. And um, before Laurie moved there, I would go out to California for teaching classes and whatever <clears throat> excuse I had to go there and I would visit with her. So every couple of years I see you, right? And then we went on several cruises. Oh, yeah. so, well, we've oh, we've okay. traveled many times together. And I want to tell you the first cruise story. Here's, here's a quick story. The, I never took a cruise before. And Ellen said, this, this cruise is just so affordable. I don't know why it's so affordable and it's so good. And, uh, so we went on the cruise, it was really affordable. <clears throat> and we were sitting at the, at the bar and having our first Mai Tai and I was so happy. And I looked over there, <clears throat> there was a huge, huge long line of people. And uh, I said, what, what is that over there? What are they doing? And, and she said, that's all the people that don't have credit cards and they're giving cash so that they can get drinks on the ship all throughout the cruise. It was just a three day cruise in Mexico. And I said, oh, so, um, so I said to this guy who was sitting next to me, it's really nice looking black guy. Uh, and he looked like he knew what he was doing. And I said, is there a special event here on this cruise? And he said, yeah, this is a Los Angeles African-American Super Bowl cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't notice? Oh, yeah. you didn't. <laughs> That's why you got a discount. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was a party, party yeah, cruise. That yes it was and i mean and, and our room was in the basement we had a porthole uh we had bunks it was it was amazing and i had dreamed of uh being in the hot tub having a mai tai those hot tubs must have had 40 people in it oh. <laughs> yeah. i guess they don't uh, anymore <laughs> oh goodness that was only once like that i don't know how many times we've cruised together but it's been quite a few now were you no, on we, ocean cruises or river yeah. cruises? No, oh, yeah. usually in the Caribbean. Yeah, Caribbean. So you were on ocean cruises? Yep. Joyce yeah, has a good story about go cruises. On the, go on the sailboats and snorkeling and kayaking and it's great. But those days are over now too, so. <laughs> well, for a while. Joyce, tell them your story about cruising. You mean the last song we tried? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the one yeah. you tried. We well, we've never done an ocean cruise. That's not my thing at all. But we tried a river cruise and I liked it. We did too. So two years ago, we were doing um, a cruise with another couple and we started out in Italy. So we left here, we got to Italy. And the very first night we were there, they were having this party in the hotel. Floyd got really ill, so, so ill that I had to go to the desk and say, yeah, I've got to have a hospital. I have to have, where's the closest hospital? 
So they are piled in a taxi, me, the other woman in Floyd, we take him to this hospital. I don't know if you know that air, Italian area, but the cruisers all leave from an area called Cita Vecchio. And so we go there, it's way in the stick somewhere, not near <laughs> Rome. And they admit him. And the long story short is that um, he had to have a sort of a mini surgical procedure while he was there. They wow. kept him in the waiting room. I had to go back to the hotel. They told me they couldn't accommodate me because I was supposed to leave the next day. Oh he my. Said, we don't have a I said, well, excuse me, but what are you going to do with me? <laughs> and so <laughs> said, well, we'll send you over to our um, sister hotel close by. So they do. So here comes a big van in the morning. I have to pack everything up. Floyd's in the hospital. And the other couple left, of course. So I have to go back to the hospital. There I found them still half dressed in a, looked like a, Floyd called it a closet. He looked like a closet. They didn't yeah. give him a room because they were afraid they'd lose track of him. <laughs> uh, what? So, yes. So, and I was happy for that, actually. So we're waiting for a urology specialist. There is none there right now. Uh -huh. So finally, I come back in a, you know, a long taxi drive back to this new hotel now. And then I have to get up and go the next day back to the hotel. I didn't know what the hell I was doing, I'm telling you. I just did it. Sounds so horrible. I'm standing yeah. in the, sitting in the lobby waiting. Nancy to see what am I gonna do? And some guy walks up to me and said, are you Joyce Jones? I said, yes, I am. He said, hi, I'm from the cruise. I'm trying to think of what cruise ship we did. They were fabulous, the company. He said, I'm here to take care of you. I said, oh my. really? Why? He said, yes. So he said, you don't speak Italian, right? I said, no, I can't remember the name of the cruise, but get with an A. So he, took care of me for like hours while I waited for a urologist, you know. Finally one comes, that guy spoke some English, she had trained here, he does the procedure, and in the meantime some other woman comes up to me and said, hi are you Joyce Jones? I said, yes I am. She said, well the other guy left, now I'm here to take care of you. Oh my goodness. So this was such an amazing treatment they gave me. So they get me back to the hotel and Floyd too, we take him. He's got the catheter, the whole thing set up, you know, what a mess. Cause he couldn't, he had to, you know, that's the only way he could operate right now. So anyway, we go back to the hotel and we're having a little, we're now we're trying to get a flight back. We didn't have a flight home. Could he go home like that? Yes, he had to go home like that. Oh my. With the catheter, the whole thing. So <laughs> while we're sitting there trying to have a little dinner, two more people walk up to us <laughs> and said, I'm not a for Jones. I said, Yes, I am. I'm one of these Italian people. He said, Well, I'm here to help you get to the airport. Do you have a flight? I said, Oh my God, this is unbelievable. So next morning they came with a big van. They helped me get my luggage put all the luggage in the thing. We got to the airport. They stayed with us all the way through getting, our, getting us on a flight. I mean, I would have been up Schitt's Creek bluntly. And Floyd, as you know, <laughs> what he was like, wasn't really ready for this. No, so no. then we got on a plane and after three, two day, three days that we were back home. Oh my. So that's, but, I'm going to tell you something, this cruise company, I've never seen such care taken of anybody. You're going to have to remember that one. Yes. I will, I will tell you the name. It began yeah, with an A. It's okay. not a company you hear that much. Amsterdam. No. Huh? Boy, uh, I'm telling you, if I, uh, if that, what would I have done in this hotel? Maybe Nobody's it's because you said, who's going to take care of me? Huh? Maybe it's after, maybe it's because of the way you said, who's going to take care of me? I said that to the hotel. He said, we don't have a room for you. I said, well, would you tell me please what Hilton is going to do for me then? What are you going to do for me? And they all stood there and looked at me. 
And then they said, well, we have a sister hotel. We'll put you, you pack your stuff up. We'll send you over there. So when I got there, they were ready for me. It was a Hilton Garden Inn. That's what it was, a Hilton Garden Inn. So, but I'm telling you, I really lucked out. Wow. Really, that was a terrible experience. How long was the cruise? You know what? The message here is have trip insurance because that's the first time we ever had trip insurance. We got back every cent. Oh, yes. Single cent. Oh, interesting. If we yeah. hadn't had that insurance, it would not have been a good thing at all. How much of the cruise did you miss? We never got on the boat. We got on the boat. No, oh. we went in. We went at the hotel that night. Oh, I thought you had the people on the boat. No, oh. we talked to a few people. And then that's when his prostate shut down. That's oh, I thought it happened on the boat. We ne- he, no, he wasn't on the boat. We were in the oh. hotel. Oh. And so that's oh, when I had to go guy. find a hospital. Poor guy, so that's a never, terrible thing. It was awful. Contempt. How many years ago was that? Two. Two. Oh. Two. Two. <laughs> well, that's right there, right there in your mind. <laughs> well, that's why she can't wait to go to the next one. Cruise soon, I don't think. Well, I've never been a cruise person. I never ever wanted to be on a cruise, but with these river cruises, we decided we sort of liked. Mm-hmm. But that was a unbelievable experience. <laughs> well, you know, Paul and I were kind of snobby about we're never going on one of those tacky cruises. And then when Ben was 10, I, I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but when Ben was 10 years old, he came home from a recite, piano recital and he said, Mom, how come that little Chinese girl who can't even get her feet on the ground, she's so little, played better than me? Mm. <laughs> I said, probably your parents smack her every night till she practices for four hours. Yeah, you know. And it. so I said, look, you practice an hour a day, six days a week, and I'll give you something special. So he says, like an Xbox? And I said, no, something else. I don't know what. So a couple of days later, he comes home and he says, Mom, I know what I want, but a cruise. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> I said, okay. So at the end of the year, he practiced six six days a week he he practiced he got a medal he got award and stuff you know and he got to see what he could do and um which was what i wanted and then we went on this cruise and we did it three years in a row and we had a blast where did you go all you know all over the caribbean Uh and the first time we went he i I left the room for a while and he'd gotten sunburned and i came back He was sitting with his feet up on a, on a, on a, you know, foot thing. And then he was sitting back in his chair with the towel wrapped around his head and a big silver tray next to him with hot chocolate and a pile of chocolate book cookies that had just been baked. And I said, where did that come from? And he said, I called room service. (laughs) Mom, this is the life. (laughs) Oh, so resourceful. (laughs) And how old was he? 11, 10. 10. Wow. That's but when he, was, when he was That's 11 and we and none of the, nobody could beat him at ping pong so three years in a row he won a trophy over the adults and the kids oh, and the second that? year we went they lost our room and so and so be, so to pay us back they gave us one of the captains they call it something or other that had like almost one room divided in half with a couch and all this other stuff big huge balcony with the fans turning and wooden floors and wow. Ben leaves he comes back and he said, and this, with this kid I've never met, and he says, Ben, my name is Robbie. We need to be best friends right away because we only have five days together. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a totally I different thing, I you know. That. It was so fun. You gotta love kids. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> uh, what what instrument did Rob play? play? What instrument what? was he practicing? Not on the, not, no, he just, he played for a year. He practiced for a year, like really practiced. Piano. I know, but what instrument? What instrument? Piano. Oh, okay. piano. Now he's the jazz pianist. <laughs> oh, all right then. <laughs> that must have helped. Is he a jazz pianist, really? Yeah, in New Orleans. Oh. You didn't know that? Yeah, he, he's been there for about I know he's in New Orleans. Years. I didn't know he was a jazz pianist, no. Yeah. By the way, Joe, what's everything. it like? What's the word about New Orleans? From Ben, What's you know it? what? New Orleans is is skyrocketing right now. But what? But uh, Ben 
left New Orleans with a friend of his, a girl, not a girlfriend, but a friend girl, whatever it's called. They got in her car and, and mapped out a trip, made all their own food, brought, you know, had a bunch of masks and everything, and they took off, and they're driving all over Colorado. Really? Are they? How fun. Yeah, and just getting away from it, because it's just... Yeah. And he, you know, he also bartends, and he said that they, they opened scary. his club, but nobody keeps their distance, and they don't all wear masks. And then when they closed them the second time, uh, some of the more popular bars just stayed open and just oh. flouted the law with people all over the place. So he just got out. Yeah. I don't know what is the matter with people. I don't know. But he said on Friday nights, there was this guy who played the clarinet. There's Bonnie. There's my sister. Um, Every Friday hey, night from the balcony, you know, and they don't go. Where's Bonnie? There she is. That's my sister. Where? I know, but I don't see her. Oh, I don't see her. Say something. Yeah, maybe your face will come. Hi there. Hi oh, there. my <laughs> God. I haven't Dad. seen you in years. Yeah. Nancy, Ellen, Kathy, <laughs> Jay Jones. Who's Jay Jones? Joyce. I don't Joyce. think we've Joyce. ever met. Hi. No, I never met. Don't mind me. I'm going to eat, you guys. I just thought I'd you look great. say hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, re I recorded it for you, Bonnie, so you can see David play. I'll send it oh. to you earlier. Is she oh, at your okay. house or her house? And Faith couldn't come because she has no electricity in her house. Really? Um, Did she they... wanted me to record it, too. Oh. Yeah, it's terrible. Hey, no hey. Wi-Fi. Where hey, is Joe. she? It's Sunday. Yeah. Hi, Nancy. Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah. I couldn't, you know, the link you sent us so we could listen yeah. to one of your musicals. Yeah. I could not open it. Did really? others, were others, were you guys able to open it? And, and I guess it was like a video. You could, I don't know. I can open it. And uh, what, a couple of my brothers watched it. Um, nobody said they didn't, but maybe they didn't, even, maybe they didn't watch it because they couldn't do it. I didn't it's, get that. It's What's still the on there. Show? It's called what show? We have to use my link. It's called Miss Nelson has a field day. Is it an email from you? It's you know it's a it's a link that that people click on. I didn't try to. And look now at it's going to go for sale. It, it's part of a national. Do, it's a, it's on a national a, tour, and they videotaped a, it because they can't do it live. Do you do you need a certain app in order to open up that link? Because I was no. not able to open it. So I don't know. I have, I have to explore my my actually my computer crashed last night and I took it to the guy today and it's not oh my fixable. God. Oh so I have no, no computer. How scary. That's terrible. And he's trying to get all the stuff that's on it, which is where that link is. You know, oh I I God. thought they'd turn it off about a week ago, but um it was up for a couple of weeks. I hope my grandchildren saw it. I don't know. I'm only supposed to show it to family, so that's right. why I said it down. I, right I won't away. tell it if I ever get it. I'm so <laughs> If, he, if any of you have had success, I'll let you please know. I'll let tell me you. know. When I can figure out what to do, I'll, I'll send you another one. Because I, I have, there, I, I was sending the link that she sent me, but there, I had two other links that went right to it. Okay. So okay. I, I didn't have to even figure out if I can do that on my phone. To see it. I really hey, want to, to do it on my phone tonight. Cool. <laughs> hey, hey, Joni. <laughs> Thank you. What? Joni, can you, uh, can you, um, can you please talk and tell? Ellen and Bonnie, a little bit about your career. Just a, a little run through of Miss Foggy Bottom, what you did, because Ellen doesn't know, I don't think. Bonnie knows some of it, but Ellen doesn't know anything about your personality. And I, I'd like you. I'd like you <laughs> but to, she does um, now. Like you should to, ask um, the rest of us to talk about her personality. I want Joan to tell her five minute story about her career and her uh, namesake. Tony's got the floor. Oh, Pardon. God. Go on. I don't know. Hey, I just, you know, I taught second grade, and at night I was playing the piano in a club, and I liked that better, and I got paid more. <laughs> and I had a principal named Mr. Um, Chestnut who was just, oh, my God. He was terrible. He was white, and everybody else was black, so he didn't know how to do anything right. And so I left, so I quit. It's a lot more complicated than that. But I, um, I work. I started at Mr. Smith's piano bar when people used to dress up, and then, um, then what did I do? Then I started writing. Then I got a job uh, filling in for somebody at a bar in Old Town Alexandria, 
and I started writing political stuff. And then somewhere in there, I started to learn how to sing without me looking at the piano. <laughs> and my father and mother came to the Statler Hilton one night when I was there, and they said, my father said, you know, Joan, your piano's great, but if I were you, I, I wouldn't sing. <laughs> huh? So I never had a voice. I just had more personality. So then John Eaton, who used to play downtown all the time, he came in one night and he said, you know what? You need to sing Jock Brel and Bobby Short and Mabel Mercer and some of these people I'd heard of Jock Brel, but the other people I hadn't heard of. But French singers, you know, they don't have to really sing. Um, they just kind of just... I don't know how do you say it, but it's like you say it, but you say it with no, but it's not like a big voice. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, so I started doing all that, blah, 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 blah. And then I, and then I, um, I was taking this musical theater class with a friend named Nikki Stern in New York and um, Martin Sharnan, who wrote Annie, was, uh, wanted to write a review for this new bar called the Upstairs at O'Neill's. And so I went over there and auditioned for him <laughs> so I could have some of my material in his show. And he kept saying, stop shaking. I'm not going to hurt you. I said, well, I'm just nervous, you know? And he said, well, don't be. Your stuff is a riot. Where did you get these ideas? So I thought I'd be in it. And then he never called me. And then huh? I ended up getting my own show there in the same room after they, they, clo after they were through. And started writing about New York, and then I then I went home, and one of my friends said, "The hell with this getting into Martin Sharnan's show. Just write your own damn review. You have all these songs." So I did, and I did that for ten years at the Omni Sharm Hotel with a cast. Cool. cool. And then blah 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 blah. And then now I'm teaching piano online <laughs> and bartending. <Online. laughs> when my husband my husband died, and after my husband died, I had a really hard time. Um, then I start. I went to bartender school, and that kind of saved me. So I bartend, teach piano, and uh, and I've got a new commission for a musical. But all um, of my shows have been canceled this year. I so I have no money. Uh oh. Yeah. So, and I can't. Bar I don't want to bartend right now. They asked me back, but I just don't want. I don't want to be part of the people that make it go on. Yeah. You know. I just Party feel people. like it, I just want to be home and stop it. It's too risky. Yeah. It's it too is. So you don't know so, enough, and we got such an idiot leading the country. It's like. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't put send my kids to anything that he had anything to do with. But I guess most people are going neighborhood by neighborhood and talking to each other and doing what they want. But it's too complicated. Yeah. You know? well, it's not good. These house parties are, are not good. No, they're and not. They're on the news. And that's what's causing some of our problems now are the house parties. So, yeah. I mean, if one, and they say bars. Can you believe people do that? Can what? you really believe that people do that? I have a yeah, hard because time. I think younger kids just um, like at Morgantown, West Virginia, West Virginia had the lowest. They had like 10 sick people or something. And now they have like 300 in the hospital or something, which for them is a lot. The minute they opened the bars, the numbers went up and then they stopped going up when they closed them. And yeah. school starts in about two weeks. And my, my, um, one of my grand, my nephew who goes to school there, he's going to, they're opening the fraternity houses. He's going back. <laughs> mm. I guess so, they think they're immune, but what about everybody else do. there, right? But all they have to do is get an, get something in the air and pass it on to 10 people, and then it could be 100, and then it could be 1,000. Mm. I mean, it just multiplies. Yeah. You know, well, I, so. I, hope that, I hope that David's concert next Tuesday will be um, safe. We're only in, we have a total of 35 people that we are buying tickets. And then he's gonna have nine people in the orchestra and um, it's in a parking lot or grassy area next to the um, Jewish community church. Yeah, um, it's a big area, I've seen it. And uh, you bring your own chair, your own food, your own everything. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna go, but I'll stay on the very outside, um, the outside, the last row. Whatever. As long as everybody wears masks there. Yeah, Where, masks, I, right? I can't go to that because of my mom. See, I can't get myself can't anywhere. Risk my mother's 96 and I'm living with her right now, taking care of her. And she's fine, but I can't, I can't take any chances myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she hasn't well, been out I'll, at all. I'll stay uh, far away from everybody, but um, I have the tickets up on Eventbrite and it's, it's going well and he's really excited about it. Um, 
so Joan, one more question for you regarding <laughs> your Miss Foggy Bottom uh, satire that you yes. wrote. I would really like to know what was your favorite uh, character or scenario that you wrote about, the political scenarios. What was your favorite during those 10 years? Oh, I don't know. Um, my favorite thing to do was to write for other people to sing my songs. So when I was at the Shoreham, I wrote something like 250 numbers that were staged by this guy who was really great. And then he died of AIDS. Who was and that, John? Ron O'Leary, Dr. Oh, O'Leary right, from right, Maryland. Right, 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 right. You know, and then, then yeah. I was supposed to open at the um, arena stage in the old VAT room before they did all this stuff now. But um, when they found out we weren't going to do a union show, because that's what we did at the hotel and had to close. It was just too expensive. They said they wouldn't help us, like, advertise us and everything. And so Paul sat me down one night and said, this is a really bad deal. You need to get out of it. So I did. And then, then he said, I'll, I'll just pay the bills and you write musicals. So that's when I wrote Tussaud about Madame Tussaud. So anyway, so that's the, then somebody right about that time offered me a book to turn into a musical. And I didn't. It was a huge hit. I didn't know the book was a big hit before I did it. I just thought it was a book that people liked. But it, it, was, a, it, it was a huge smash hit as a book. So once I got the rights to it, you know. Then I got the sequel, which is Miss Nelson as a Field Day. And then Junie B. Jones and Blot. And I've written almost 20 musicals in 20 years, and they're all commissioned. Cool. So that's what I love doing. I like writing for other people, but not having to go. <laughs> 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 Just get the checks later on, you know, because everybody that does those shows, like Miss Nelson has had over 200 productions. So everyone who does those shows, I get money from. Without that's going, cool. You know? That is yeah. excellent. Great. Except now nobody can go on stage they're not allowed to rehearse yeah. they're not allowed to sing because singing sprays more stuff into the air right yeah so, so the reason this is videotaped live was because it's already up it was on tour yeah. so so anyway John, I don't know. it's a big mess speaking of singing John, so speaking what? of singing and what? for john do you, have you ever heard of the person Sandy Bainham? She's, she's been in New York and yeah. BC and out in California now and everything. And she's she a cabaret sang. singer or an actress? Yeah. Oh. Cabaret, yeah. I, I have heard of her. I don't know her though. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, heard that name. Her name There's a huge... and you'll, you'll recognize a lot of the stuff she's done. Yeah. Maybe I'll look her up on the. When I get a computer, you know, I've just to tell you guys something that's really funny is when I watch the news at night and they have all these pundits come on. Now they're coming from their homes and every single one, my mom just, she and I laugh our heads off every night because I'll say, look at the bookshelf. They it's all have a bookshelf. <laughs> and we try to see if we can see the title. So I'm looking at Joyce's office. The, the <laughs> guess, but she has all these books. And it looks interesting. You know? And then I'm looking at, um, okay, Sandy? No. Bonnie. Who is your friend that I just talked to? Ellen. 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 Look, no, we got a big no, one not here. Ellen. Not Ellen. Let me the show you this the one. The here. Now that's mm. beautiful. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the lady with the blonde hair. That's me. You. Okay, so you, mm -hmm. to your le right, you have a bookshelf. Yes. Okay, so, that, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. So every night I say to my mother, see, they've got a bookshelf. They all have bookshelves. And so <laughs> I want to build a big bookshelf somewhere too. where I can sit in front of it. <laughs> I don't know, it's yeah. just funny. That's what I look for. Uh, well, I'm in the basement. And that's what we have now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it looks great. I mean, it's, they, they're both beautiful. I, it's just funny about books. I don't know. You're just so laughing. Just there's just one, there's one guy on CNN who every time he's on, he's in a different room. Like the first time he was in his kitchen, this huge kitchen, and he had a dog. So we got to see that. Then the next time he was in the living room, and Peter Jennings said, you know, it's really fun going into people's homes. <laughs> Peter Jennings. What's his name? Uh, uh, not Jenny. He's gone for years. Brian, Brian Williams. Brian Williams. Williams, yeah. 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 I don't, why did I see Peter Jennings? 
Mm -hmm. He's from where? He was back from the 70s, wasn't he? That's because my mind's going. <laughs> <laughs> I know how that goes. I know how that goes. Well, I just wanted to um, let Bonnie talk for a minute. Bonnie is a, a choir director, a professional musician and music director at a church. And um, wow. so, yeah, so she's having her um, challenges. Bonnie, tell, tell them what your choir director challenges are right now. Go ahead. Well... <laughs> We, there isn't any choir right now because yeah, really. we can't, like the Episcopal Church, I work for the Episcopal Church, and it's, uh, they're following the guidelines for Maryland, and then, but then the bishop of our diocese, which is the Diocese of Baltimore, is being very conservative, and so they, um, they are allowing different churches to reopen as they are ready. There's a whole list of things that need to be done and and then we can reopen with a certain percentage of people of it. My, uh, my particular rector is not reopening yet. So at first I was singing, uh, playing the for the services from home. Uh, I just put the computer really? right, on, right on my piano. Uh, um, you know music stand i would lay it down and then put the put the computer right there so they could so i could look face on but i also had to read the hymnal because <laughs> i was playing the hymns so i would put the hymnal to the left and so we i got to sing myself just by myself and at first the first two weeks everybody else sang with me and it sounded atrocious because on zoom everybody's modem is a different speed and so <laughs> all the singing you should was, record that <laughs> it, no she didn't record any of so anyway she stopped that and then she started muting everybody after a week or two and then it started feeling like the bonnie show like i was just singing by myself yeah it was hard it, like was, like a, like hard. at a piano bar joan and uh but i was singing hymns and uh, so we did that, gee whiz, a couple of months, I want to say, two, maybe three. And then finally, we decided to go back in to the sanctuary. So the, rep, uh, the priest went in and me and one reader and then maybe one other person who would say the responses. Because, you know, you say, the Lord be with you. And then you want mm -hmm. the responses and also with you, right? But no one was saying it because we couldn't hear anybody. So she would bring in a responder. Anyway, it's been very complex, <laughs> very com so much harder than doing the real thing. When you watch TV, when you watch TV, and there's many, many on the Zoom and everything with instruments, how how does it work together? I don't understand that. Well, what that is, is very, I haven't done anything like that because I don't have, I'm in a small church, but um, what you do is you um, send the music to your people. Let's say you have 20 people and um, they each sing their own part at home into the, um, into their phone and they, they, you know, or their computer and they record it. And then they send that track to the music director oh, and then they have um they have to do it with a metronome so that everything is exactly the same tempo like with the clicks so then you do that and then you send it in to your music director or an editor of some sort and then they use a music program to combine the different parts and they put them up on the screen and then it sounds good because it's all the, it's right. SATB, you know, each person sings their own part and it should be according to the speed of the metronome. And then it sounds like a piece of music and that's how it's done, Ellen. Wow. Uh -huh. so now, what, do, the, do they, <laughs> sounds like a lot of work. When they, do they send, do they get to do it over tracks, real tracks of orchestration, like, even if it's just one instrument, um, you know what I mean? Like for my, a lot of my musicals, because some people can't afford to have an orchestra or, or a little quartet or whatever, it, I'll have tracks. I'll have an orchestra to do tracks. Do you guys ever do anything like that? Well, so then when they sing to it, it's got rhythm. It's all, it's all, that's how it's going to be. Do you know what it, I mean? It isn't like karaoke. It, it is not. 
Um, <laughs> no, that's so, not what I meant. No. I meant like the tracks that you make for your song. Do you ever make tracks for the songs like, like the guitar without having guitarists there? I would say that that is what they do. I haven't done this, but yeah. from what, from what I have heard and observed, uh, usually it's either an orchestral piece or it's an acapella choral piece. I really haven't heard it be done together yet. Maybe it was. I, there was a big, there was an Episcopal, uh, they did a call for anybody who wanted to sing the, um, it was a hymn, it was the Easter hymn one of the Easter hymns, the famous ones. And so you could record it and people who didn't know each other sent it in to the, the, uh, the electronic guru <laughs> for the diocese and they put it together and there was an orchestra with that. Okay. So they had the they probably did that. There was probably 150 people involved in that. Wow. I'd so, like to hear that. Well, let's go online, you can find it. Just look it up. Um, that's good. good. <laughs> Episcopal Church Virtual Choir Easter Sunday. You could Google that. It would probably come up. Yeah. Because the intention was to play it on, on Easter. What are you going to do? Yeah. We have wow. it. We do some live streaming as well as Zoom. Uh, we're a small parish, so the Zoom is much more interesting because people can talk to each other like and you we can are. see the pictures of everybody whereas yeah. facebook that's, yeah facebook my Live. mom my mom belongs to a church that's sort of a renegade church from the catholic church um and they they meet at 9 30 every sunday morning on zoom and then the guitar guy he plays the guitar and i think somebody plays electric piano and they just play and everybody sings at home by themselves with it and it's really yeah. lovely you know it's not it's not some gorgeous event but it's beautiful yeah, and they're well, all safe. I mean, yeah, it's, it feels like I you're just in a room love, together with people, you know. Jenny, I love the sound of a renegade Catholic church. Right, is that? <laughs> that you oh, my hear. parents were always like that. Aren't they when all? We were growing up, you know, you're a wonderful mom to find the renegade yeah. Catholic church. <laughs> Remember, what's his name? Pope John the Twenty Seventh. Was that who it was? Who's the renegade pope? Uh, yeah, and so. So everybody was changing everything. So our family and some of our Catholic neighbors, we took turn having, turns having mass in our houses. And the women would break the bread and bring wine and get a, you know, an excommunicated priest or a regular priest to say mass. <laughs> and they're, now they're, there are women that are, that are becoming Catholic bishops. They go to Germany Wonderful. and they get ordained. And my, and there's a church near here that my mom used to go to that has every time it had it's Episcopal, but every time they had five Sundays in a month, the fifth one would go to the Catholic church and then the, the, their Catholic Bishop, female Bishop would come and say mass and nice. she's married, you know, it's really interesting. They're just doing all this stuff, even though it's not, even though people don't know it, <laughs> they just do it. How do you get confirmed? Oh, I just, we just go to Germany and they bless us and tell us something and come back and get married and work in the church. I'm like, okay. Right. <laughs> what about you, Nancy? What are you doing now? Oh, well, nothing as exciting as what you're doing. No, I would um, campaigning <laughs> a little bit, and that's tricky because we've got to do everything virtual. Oh, yeah, you're done. Uh, I'm campaigning for Abigail Spanberger, yay. Uh, we got her elected in 2018 to Congress, and now we're trying to keep her in Congress. And what else am I doing? Oh, we're doing work on my house. I refinanced my mortgage. I've been meeting with a lot of contractors. <laughs> what are you so, doing to your house, man? A little pandemic stuff. Huh? What am I doing to my house? Yeah, well, what are you doing to your house? The, the big project is the the French doors to my patio. Yeah. And Joyce, I think you're the only one who's seen my house. Yeah. Have leaked for a long time. I mean, it's just been a problem. Oh. It gets just pelted by when we have a bad storm like we had Monday night. Oh. It just gets pelted. And so Tuesday morning, I go down and sure enough, all the wood inside that door is wet again for the main of time. So that's not good. Contractor that replace a big ch ch 
section of my house. It's like the whole frame where those doors go in. So they remove, I mean, like a side of your house. So I was going to wait till October when I wouldn't need air conditioning so badly, but I don't think I can wait that long because every time we get one of these storms, I have all that more damage than my wooden floor. I think you um, better get it fixed. There's a lot of rain. It's not, it's not a fun, you know, redoing my kitchen or anything. It's just very practical kind of stuff. So anyway, well, nothing exciting like you guys, but I will take this opportunity. I hope everybody is registered to vote. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to vote online. You have yep. a plan. Either you're going to do it on, you know, by mail or whatever, but it's so critical every vote counts every vote yeah we believe it and maybe that's the day he'll be gone <laughs> <laughs> well it's like 88 days and i you know i hope i'm i hope joe gets in and okay we don't so Trump let's, anymore. let's take uh let's take a um a guess on who the bp will be for biden uh, i i guess susan rice i guess susan rice I think Susan Rice too. Hmm. I don't think so. No, but do you think? Do you think Troy? Like, you know I've been reading it. a lot of negative stuff about him having to, if he did that, but I don't know. I don't know who it's going to be, but I would yeah. be surprised if it was Susan Rice. I guess just because of what I've read, and I guess it was the post a lot well later. you know they're putting negative information about, about everybody so of course they're gonna yeah. go back to benghazi and all that crap too, yeah but, yeah but she but, i think the reason i like her is because i feel like not like her uh i don't know that much about her i just think she's classy and she's not somebody screaming at people for being rich oh yeah all the right. time we have to get other votes. We can't just get Democrats. We got to get unite the whole country. That's you, right, I agree. Get, you can't be bashing everybody. You got to work agree. together. And, and, and the Democrats a certain element. I agree. That's I, at I first, I thought it was going to be Kamala Harris, but me too. now I'm thinking more Susan right. Rice because Joe works so closely with her. Yeah, and he knows. And I mean, they're going to have to rebuild our government. I mean, they've got yeah, it, every yeah. agency, the State Department, you name it. And we have, I mean, our reputation abroad is horrible. So I think that's where and she, she knows can, foreign policy, too. Exactly. That's, that's the that's good thing. Where she knows yeah. really and we need help there. Help him. She yeah. needs. The rest of them really don't, but. I well, know. I guess I, I think we're going to know by next week, right? Yeah, most yeah. of well, whoever it is is going to get bashed like hell. So maybe they're just waiting as oh, long yeah. as they can. <laughs> there, you know? that's, that, that's the only game plan the Republicans have is just to try to, you know, bash yeah. because they have. I mean, they don't and have build the new FBI building. <laughs> Isn't that something, really? <laughs> and where <laughs> Alabama it's going to be? Billions. We should we should have a Zoom for the debates. One, two, for the first debate. Let's have a Zoom to watch it together. Oh, sure. that would be fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like to watch these hearings. They're interesting. The <laughs> guys act like three-year-olds, but <laughs> are there any scheduled? I haven't heard of any. No, they're not scheduled yet. Okay, they're coming though. They're coming. Yeah, I think unless they all get sick. Maybe you're Trump sure sick. That they said they, they weren't doing until the end of September or something, and that'll be the earliest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm well. scared. I'm just very nervous about this election. I we do. all are. We mm. all are. Yeah, we all the are. But you're so high. You can't win. Just, and yeah. and Trump will cheat, lie, steal, kill. He will do whatever he can. He doesn't care. Yeah. He has no. He might have to be dragged out, but maybe, you know, I don't know. I think if things get really bad and he knows he's going to lose, he'll drop out. I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think, think so. so either. You, you, need to, <laughs> you need to read or listen to Mary Trump's Well, maybe book. he'll get sick for two weeks till it's over. 
No. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Uh, no uh, such luck. Right? Brave. Well, I think that's why it's Bob important that we really brave and kill him. No, we got to vote, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I've, I've been reading Mary Trump's book in my car when I'm driving. I, I'm, um, it's very good if you want to read a book or listen to it. Read parts of it and heard from people. She's it's good. She's really good. And um, Fred Trump was crazy. And so. Is that the father? Yeah. What's that? Is that the father? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Fred. Fred is the father. Yep. I, I, read that on I always felt that he had a bad father just from the way he acts. Like yeah, she's really been, been good on these talk shows when she talks about it. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen her on all the late night stuff? Mm -hmm. well, I'm reading yeah. it right now too. And I think it's it's really a very interesting. And I'm you reading know, Michelle Obama's how book. To, how to grow a sociopath. <laughs> so <laughs> right. it's very yeah. clear. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he has no ability to um I don't know. I mean there are a lot there are no a lot of people with mental health who can't Put their self in another person's yeah. shoes it's it's like a mental thing i'm not saying it's a disorder but it's like um mm -hmm. there are different well, kinds he has of no empathy he has no he doesn't empathy. have it i mean he just he doesn't, doesn't have, have it. it he's a sociopath yeah. and then and you read that book and you see really it's how they were the, not just him but that's how the family you know was so yeah 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 they scary. were weird it's Has really anybody read Michelle Obama's book? Because that's what I'm reading now. Oh, yes. Oh, it was wonderful. God, it's wonderful. Just it? wonderful. I've got that on it's tape, too. Lifting. It really, it, it also gives you another window onto how people look at things, you know? We think everybody yeah. looks at it the way we do. And, she's, <laughs> and now that she just gave a speech the other day where she was talking about how depressed she is and upset and angry she right. is. About I all heard the stuff that. That's going on. And it was really good. Yeah. You know, she, she, she really. the truth. Yes, yeah, she does. And she speaks she with um, sensitivity and all that. Yeah, yeah she's, she's good. Yeah, she's amazing. And she had such a nice upbringing. I mean, she had a lovely family. Still does. So anyway, cool. I got to read this other book, though. I didn't know if it'd be good or not. So I will. I will now. Mary. <laughs> Mary. Mary. Book. Yeah. yeah, I just really I read a wonderful book. And I'm, I'll give me a second. I'll think of the name. I'm, I'm terrible. Hold on a second. I'm surprised that no one has asked Trump about where his son is going to school because I'll bet that he's not going to be there. Well, mm -hmm. I oh, think it starts the reporters are That's being, a good chance question. Well, so be nice and not talking about the children. Yeah. But I mean, does he go to school, school or stay at home? Very, she she school here in the district well the, right. the book i just read and i recommend it to all of you it's called i'm still here have any of you read it mm -hmm. black no. dignity in a world made for whiteness by a woman named austin channing brown it's it's 180 pages it's a really easy read and talking about seeing the world through someone else's eyes the book is just fascinating so I recommend it cool. to all of Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. All right. Well, I think um, I think my time is going to be up with my Zoom account. So. Okay. In two weeks. One, two. Two weeks. It was in great two weeks, to see yeah. everybody. Stay two nice. weeks. I got to go back and, and uh, stay safe. Good to I see know you too. all. Bye, Thanks you guys. Everybody. Bye, Joyce. Everybody stay safe. All right. Yeah. Too. No, no bars. Too. No bars. <laughs> no, no Maybe bars. I'll you. <laughs> no yard parties. <laughs> Bye. Nice to see you too. Bye. 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 Yeah. Thanks Good for night. coming. And to meet Ellen. <laughs> well, how do I do this? I guess I. Kathy will end it. I'll end it.